Hello everyone, this is a quick overview as the Race Game Easy um, uh, uh, project. Um, so within the project, you're going to find uh, uh, your blueprint setups and you're going to uh, basically use those blueprints to set up the whole um, the whole project um, to work. Um, I can show you how it looks like when it's all set up. So you have a vehicle, you have a start line, you have your uh, t uh, lap time, your race time, your best time, and your best race time. You can you have shown your um, how many laps do you have, and also um, how many checkpoints do you have in the level. So at this at this moment, if I go to the start point, I can change the the lap count. So let's say um, I'm gonna change it to two. Save all. And now if I start the level, I need to pass two rounds and hit two checkpoints for each round in order to the time we counted and finish the race. I'll change it back to one just for simplicity. So um, basically, um, I'm going to show you how you can set up uh, this is a very simple circle level, so I'm gonna delete all these uh, all these blueprints, all these actors. So uh, basically, when you start with, you take your blueprint folder <clears throat> and you um, you you put in your you put it in your start point. Right? So that's a point where you uh, basically start the race. That's where your uh, player start position is going to be, and this is going to start a timer. So I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Go to 15 and rotate. So now it's my start point. So if I go now and I start it, it's going to tell me that I don't have any checkpoints in the level at this moment. See, the number of checkpoints is 0 by 0. So I can still ride it. I can still start the time. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I can ch you can change the code for it to not need it, the checkpoint. But the checkpoints are nice addition, I guess, a little bit of a a little bit a level of complexity uh, for the player so they have to go through it so let me just hop out of it and I'm just gonna add one checkpoint right here again it's gonna go a little bigger so we can see it so this checkpoints cover this part of the road and now with um, With Alt, when I drag it, I'm creating another checkpoint that I can place maybe like somewhere here. You can place as many checkpoints that you want. Uh, the The idea behind is that the player has to hit all the checkpoints before um, he can actually reach the, the goal or the start line and basically win the race. <clears throat> so right now, there are checkpoints placed, so I have two checkpoints, so if I go to the race, I'm racing, hitting one checkpoint, it shows that I hit it, hitting the other checkpoint, and going to the start line, and finishing a race with time of 14.57. The next, the next thing um, I wanted to do, I, I wanted to make this uh, as simple as possible. So no matter what vehicle or no matter what kind of uh, car do you have, or no matter what kind of pawn or, or actor do you have to uh, use this, uh, you don't have to change the blueprints or the coding in the blueprints. You just use this pawn collision box blueprint, which you place into your uh, into your vehicle or player or whatever you have. So, for example, I have this off-road car, off-road car pawn. So I bring it here. So this is the this is a this is a regular this is a blueprint coming from uh, Epic Games. It's all set up the way 
Epic Games set it up, and it's it's another type of vehicle. So if I go to my blueprints and I bring this pawn collision box in, I can place it maybe in front of the car. Now my car becomes uh, countable, and the, the the blueprints will register that the car is there. So if we go to word settings, change the game to off-road game mode. Now I'm having a different car, but I still have my timer starts. And I'll go through the level. And my best time is still the 1457 that I did last time. It's a little slower with this guy. Um, another thing is to pay attention to is a game instance, right? So in this blueprint, in this game instance, there's a lot of a uh, lot of the uh, programming, a lot of the the idea of the race is happening. So ideally, uh, the the best thing obviously is to set up the game instance for your game, and it's gonna go throughout every level that you have in your project. So that's gonna stay consistent. So you have so if you have a different levels that you're using in a project for different racing, uh, this game instance is gonna be uh, uh, valuable through all of them. So if you go to project setting and you go to instance. You just change this game instance class from game instance, which is the original, to BP race game instance, and that's uh, that's enough. That's that's basically what you need to do. Um, also, I have a I have a mode. Um, there's another another options that I have created, uh, which is right now you're going in loop, so it counts one, two, three, six. How many loops do you want the player to go through uh, to win the race? But also you can go and do um, uh, you can do sprint race. So the sprint race is something that goes from A to B, right? It, it's not a closed loop. So I have an endpoint here. So if I place this endpoint into my level, you see I have an endpoint. Now I start here. You imagine this is a this is a, this is actually a, a sprint. So you start here, you go through one checkpoint, another checkpoint, and you end your end line. It's in the in the endpoint. So timer starts. <clears throat> Driving, hitting one checkpoint after the other. And I'm driving to endpoint, and that's my end time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There is a, a hot folder in which you can uh, basically uh, you can change your widget, and you can you know play with the um, you can see how it works inside, and you can play with the graphic design with uh, whatever you need. But the main main uh, game blueprints are here. Uh, the main one it's the uh, the start point, the checkpoints. It depends on the type of game that you're creating. It's either you add an endpoint, uh, and then you have to set up your game instance. And then pawn collision box that goes to any blueprint, any any your pawn actor or whatever you want to be driving through the uh, to to finish lines and through the checkpoint. This is gonna take care of that, um, and it's gonna basically it gives you a chance to to change any car or any object without actually changing some uh, coding within the blueprint. Well, and that's it. I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you're gonna do great games. You're gonna, and it helps you a little bit to speed up your workflow when you're creating a racing game, um, and it helps you to do better games. All right. So thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, have a good day. Have a good day, guys. Bye.